الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد وهبت في الله السلام عليكم رحمة الله وبركاته إن قصة نوح عليه الصلاة والسلام there's an excellent example for those who call to Allah سبحانه وتعالى those who بدل الجهد in calling the توحيد of Allah عز وجل calling people من ظلمات النور and when we look at the examples of the NBA alayhim afdal salatu wassalam and we see the example of Nuh alayhi salatu wassalam for all the years that he called to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala striving to guide, be a source of guidance for his people to guide them from darkness to light is an excellent example for us to not give up in calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it can be frustrating and it can be uh, where people attack your honor or try to belittle you or try to destroy you or move you off the path of the book and the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Qala Allahu Tabarak wa Ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna arsalna nuhin ila qawmihi ay anzir qawmaka min qabli an yaatiyahum عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ إِنِّي لَكُمْ نَذِيرٌ مُبِينٌ إِنْ نَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَاتَّقُوهُ وَأَطِيعُونْ يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ مِنْ ذُنُوبِكُمْ وَيُؤَخِّرُكُمْ إِلَى أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّى إِنَّ أَجَلَ اللَّهِ إِذَا جَاءَ لَا يُؤَخِّرُهُ لَوْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ الله عز وجل تبارك وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم verily we sent Nuh والسلام, to his people to warn them to warn his uh, and to warn your people addressing Nuh والسلام, and under Qomaka min Kabli and Yatiyahum Adamun Alim to warn your people before a severe torment descends upon them. This is the, the wadifa of the da'i. Qala, ya qawmi inni lakum nadhirun mubeen. So Nuh, alayhi salatu wasalam, he addressed his people. He said, ya qawmi, O oh my people. That's also a lesson that we saw the NBA addressing their people, addressing their qawm. That doesn't mean you exclude anyone else, but this is the bidaya, is that you begin with your people because those are closest to you. That's the culture you know. Those are the people you engage with. And they understand you, and you understand their culture. You can relate to them. They can understand you. قَالَ يَا قُومِ إِنِّي لَكُمْ نَذِيرٌ مُبِينٌ He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, O oh my people, verily I am for you a warner, a clear warner. This is how the NBA were. They were, a war they were there to warn their people and address their people so their people would understand the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to call the people from darkness to light and what did he warn them with what was the clear message what made him clear he said and he said to worship Allah and this is a command. In ni'budullaha. Wattaquuhu. Wati'un. So worship Allah. Fear him. And obey him. That's the message of Islam. That's what all the NBA were calling us to. Calling us from darkness to light to the obedience of, of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why when we hear call Allah, call Rasul. We should have Iqbal, we should accept that. We shouldn't fight and argue, rush to the statements of men, rush to the opinions of this one, but rush to Allah So he said to worship Allah alone and fear Him. And we know at uh, Taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as many of our salaf or some of our salaf explain 
It means to adhere to the commandments of Allah and avoid his prohibitions and to put a barrier like a shield between you and the hellfire. And that barrier or that shield is obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. And it's easy for us to say that. But implementing that in our lives is where we're challenged. But this is the message of the prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam. They called us to the obedience of Allah. They called us to worship Allah azawajal alone. So he called his people. He said, Inna'budullaha wa taquuhu wa ati'un. Obey, uh, worship Allah, fear Him, and obey Him. Being obedient to the commands of Allah, which we get from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then He told us about the natija. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, Yaghfir lukum min dhunubikum. So that the natija, the result is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. And he will delay you until the appointed time when it's your turn. When it's your time to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us to meet him in a state of obedience. So some of the scholars of tafsir, in the contemporary scholars of tafsir, and this is a, a, a wonderful book. It's called uh, Al-Mukhtasr Fi Tafsir Al-Qur'an. And this is a, a group of ulama, uh, I believe predominantly in Saudi Arabia, that they have a mujamma, or like a, a uh, organization, if you will, that concentrates on tafsir. So they mention some fu'a'id here that in general from this surah they mention the maqasid of this surah meaning what is the intent of this surah and the main meaning and benefit the main benefit that we gain what is the subject matter if you will they say sabra du'at wa jihadihim So they say that the general meaning of this surah and this general uh, message that we can gain from this is the patience. Uh, it is patience that people who call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proper gators of the religion that they must be patient and they must and their jihad you know that they are striving and their efforts and their that could be jihad and nafs the jihad of your own self fighting your own soul and your own sins and shortcomings and that could be jihad and da'wah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that you're striving that you're striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do the various ways of khair. And that you are striving and making vigilant efforts and calling people from darkness to light. And that's why they say, jihadihim fi da'wah. So they're not talking about jihad of the sword here as far as the maqasid of this, this surah. But they're talking about the jihad or striving in da'wah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in calling people to the light of Allah to the hidayah to guidance and he said and they say that this is what we gain throughout this surah and the, and the story of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam because we see Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam his vigilance and calling his people, subhanAllah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and tathbeetin lil mu'mineen. So this surah should be something that affirms the believers, makes the believers firm, makes them firm in their faith. 
makes the da'i in Allah Azza wa Jal firm in his da'wah. وَتَهْدِيدٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ And it's a warning, a stern warning for the liars. Those people who deceive and lie. Those people who deny the message, the message of Islam, the message of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the people who deny the Sunnah. That this should be a stern warning to them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to bless us with good and protect us from evil and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.